everyone! Okay, so I'm so excited. I finally got my hands on some Shea Moisture products. I'm so excited because for the past two, three years um, since going natural, I've been seeing pretty much everyone in the natural hair community um, these products being raved about on YouTube and blog spaces, um, Twitter, everywhere. So um, they're finally available here in South Africa. So I got myself um, three products. So I just wanted to just do a re quick review of the products and how my hair is um, basically behaving with the products. Okay, so the first one, um, or the first two rather, because um, they work together, are the Raw Shea Butter Moisture. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, by the way. <laughs> A lot of people say Shea Moisture, other people say Shea Moisture. I'm not sure which one it is, so if I mispronounce it, just, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo. I'm not sure if you can see the label. It's like a sort of must, almost like a dark mustard yellow label. And then um, the Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner. So um, I've basically been using these for the past couple of weeks and my hair loves this stuff. Um, and as you can see, or maybe not very clearly, but basically the shampoo has just gone down to about this much. So you really actually don't need a lot of product, which I really like because what I've been finding is that the longer my hair grows, the more product obviously I have to use for it. So it's nice to know that these products like, you know, a little goes quite a long way. All right, so um, this entire line, the Raw Shea Butter line for Shea Moisture, um, obviously has Shea Butter or Shea Butter, however you pronounce it. Um, and some of the other ingredients include argan oil, which is really great for like shine and elastic elasticity for hair. And um, obviously shea butter to keep it moisturized, keep the moisture um, sealed into your hair. Um, I'm just reading it here, it's got aloe vera juice, which I love. That's probably why I really like this shampoo, because I always have to add aloe vera juice to my shampoos. So this already has that, which is great. Um, and then it's also got avocado oil, vitamin E, um, and obviously water and some other uh, more detailed ingredients. So I really, really, I love this. My hair felt clean, but not that squeaky, really dry clean. It was just a really nice, refreshed, moisturized clean. I think that's the best way I can describe it. Um, so I really, really like this. I'm, I'm a fan. And then I also love this conditioner. Firstly, I love that it has this pump nozzle, which is great. Um, and as you can see, the consistency is actually quite thick. You know, it doesn't sort of, you know, that's, yeah, <laughs> that's how, how thick it is, um, which is great. Again, I don't have to use a lot um, to put on my hair. And what's really great about this is that you can use it as a normal conditioner after shampooing your hair, but you can also use it as a leave-in. Um, so if you use it as a leave-in, you don't have to put too much, you just like put it in. Um, it smells great. It doesn't have a strong smell, which I really like when it comes to my products. I hate it when it smells too sweet or too strong or too minty, whatever it is. Um, so again, this also has um, shea butter, um, water as well as glycerin, which is probably another reason why I love this. My hair loves glycerin. Um, some coconut oil. Um, also, there's argan oil in this as well and some carrot seed oil. So those are some of the main ingredients of this product. So, um, I, yeah, I don't know what else I can say about this stuff. I'm really liking these two together. Good pair. And I've also got my hands on their Curling Gel Souffle. So this is basically what I'm going to show you how I achieved this hairstyle with. Okay, so um, this also has no sulfates, no parabens, no paraffin, no mineral oil, no animal testing. Um, and the main ingredients are, um, it's got, I gave a sugar cane extract. Um, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but um, it's A-G-A-V-E, agave, I gave. Um, glycerin, um, coconut oil, shea butter, some really good stuff here. So basically, um, this is, uh, for thick curly hair and it has flaxseed oil as well, which I think explains the texture of the product um, I'm not sure if you can see here that it's um, it's not very thick. It's more gooey gooey kind of 
texture. I'm not sure if you can see that. So um, basically what I've been using this for is as a gel, just to um, uh, put my hair in place and sort of slick my edges down as you can see in this style that I'm rocking today. So I'm going to take you through how I achieve the style using this product. Don't forget you can get all of these products from a great new store called Tender Loving Hair. All the details and their website will be in the description box below. Okay, enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so today I basically uh, started off with my hair more shrunken than usual. Um, I quite like this style because it works very well for shorter or shrunken hair. Um, so basically what I've just done is I've sprayed my daily spritz onto my hands and just smoothed that onto my hair to refresh it for the morning. Now I'm just separating it at the back and securing it with a hairband basically just from uh, one ear to the other. Now I'm using my daily spritz and I'm spraying that directly onto my hairline. Um, I made sure not to put it on the rest of my hair to avoid further shrinkage. So I'm just smoothing that in um, and I'm using my brush to just smooth it in further and just to help um, create that sort of more slick look on my edges. Okay, so now I'm using the gel souffle. And what's great about this product is you don't need to use a lot of it to make a difference. So I just use a little bit to um, smooth that directly onto my hair and use the palm of my hands just to smooth that into my hair. And what's great about this is that um, it's really soft. My hair comes out really soft and it doesn't have that really crunchy, hard sort of um, texture. Again, just use a brush or a comb to smooth the product in a bit further. Okay, so now this is my age-old trick. I use a strapless bra strap. And basically what I do is that I put it into a sort of circle, hook the hook into the opposite side, and then just put that basically around my hair. Push that backwards. And then what's great about this is that you can use that little adjuster to make it tighter or make it looser, however it feels comfortable. Now I'm putting a scarf around just the hairline area. Um, this is going to help um, basically lay down your edges. So just tie that around your head as tight as you can handle. And now I'm basically going to go off and finish getting ready and do my makeup. Okay, so now I'm back, done my makeup, finished getting ready, so that's taken me maybe about 10 minutes. So I undo the scarf, and as you can see, it's nice and flat. Undo that section at the back, and now fluff it out. Basically, what you're trying to do here is to cover up that gap that the bra strap is creating. And I'm taking some bobby pins and just securing um, the sides a bit, just to give it a little bit more of a sort of quasi-mohawk kind of look. Fluff the back a bit further, just make sure that it hides the bra strap unless that's the look you're going for. So here I'm seeing I just need a few more bobby pins. Just use as many as you need. Okay, now just fluffing it out a bit further, making sure that I'm happy with the look. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.